Hello, uh, my name is Hari. I'm a grad student in uh, robotics program here at the University of Michigan. And, uh, my name is Sunny, and I'm doing my master's in artificial intelligence and machine learning. Uh, so the project that we are working on for uh, Yahoo Hackathon is to build a uh, uh, like a mobile-based agent software that helps middle le middle level school students uh, solve their uh, algebra problems. So what uh, so students can either speak in speak in their problem like uh, John's height is 10 feet and uh, Mary's height is uh, twice John's height those kind of word problems and uh, we use the existing like uh, speech recognition software to uh, take the input once user enters the, uh, enters the problem and then selects explain uh, uh, the agent will uh, they try to explain the problem by taking each individual step step by step and then gives user like how it is trying to solve the problem and give them intuition as to how to solve these problems. So the idea is to... Uh, the idea is to uh, let students learn from the from by using like uh, these mobile based agent software so they can just hold on their mobile while uh, doing their homework or uh, learning their own i mean learning mathematics and uh, they can take help from the software so there's a, there's a few steps to this there's one step is you speak the question yes, yes. the second step is you can look at the text that's been rendered yes. and yes. confirm if that's what you want yes yes and then you you hit the submit button Yes. yes. It then interprets what you were asking in a mathematical sense, yes. reevaluates that, and then yes. gives the answer. Yes. yes. So it is using extensive uh, natural language processing. It understands what is being asked, what is the question, and forms four or five equations. And then there is an equation solver, which solves the equation and gives you the final results. So like unlike other softwares where you directly give in the equations, and it solves for you, it actually forms the equation because this is an abstract level of learning which helps in real life solving problems. So that's why it's so useful. Major, the biggest problem that students usually face is given the problems, they are able to solve the problem. But phrasing the problem, modeling mm -hmm. the mathematical equations is what is the hardest part. Exactly. So by helping them in that step, I think this will help them solve, I mean, l understand mathematics in a much better manner. What was the most difficult part of this hack? Uh, getting the agent to understand and mm -hmm. solve the problem. That's the whole natural language processing is like really hard yeah. to yeah, the process. Pro the, yeah, that's the problem. And the second thing is with respect to speech recognition. I mean, uh, it's it sometimes takes like gibberish. Mostly, I mean, it's there is a lot of environmental noise mm -hmm. that we can't do much about. And speech recognition is still at initial phase, initial stages. But uh, with respect to, uh, I think that most challenging part is with respect to making the agent understand. It also, I would think that the problem is that you could describe the equation several different ways. You could say John is twice as tall as Mary. John's height is twice as tall as Mary. Right. Uh, the height of John is two times right. Mary. So yes. there's a lot of different ways that it can be said, which means it's got to be able to interpret all those different ways to that be the same thing. We are actually, this program incorporated that feature. So, for example, when we say John's height is this much, and then we ask a question, okay, what is the height of the John? So what it does is it take the, uh, the uh, sentence height of John and it take the sentence John's height and then match how many predicates are matching. Mm -hmm. And based on the results, how many predicates are matching, it makes a sense that these two means the same thing and assign the same variable to them. So that's how we are processing internally. So it is so able to It has many some level models. of uh, uh, tolerance to these kind of uh, variations. And uh, the other variations would be like it, it, it has to make sense out of units. So like difference between uh, John's age and Mary's age and uh, difference between John's height and Mary's height aren't like, I mean, uh, in these absolute, in these cases, the difference is always taken as absolute. Whether you take difference between John's height and Mary's height or Mary's height and John's height, the value should always be positive. But that's not the case always, like when you're talking about money or something, it might be that uh, some of the values can be negative. Mm -hmm. So there is some sort of a context sensitive, I mean, uh, context based information as well embedded in the values that are given. So that also needs to be taken care of. So 
Can you give um, an example of a, a fairly complicated uh, equation that this is able to uh, compute? Right, right now, the question that we are trying to solve is Fran H divided by Robin's height is one half of Kelly's IQ. Kelly's IQ minus 15 is Robin's height. If Robin is four feet tall, how old is Fran? That's pretty complicated. That's pretty complicated. And it is able to do the job pretty well. That's great. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, we, we had like some other, some other some somewhat simpler, somewhat even even more complicated in terms of parsing and those kind of problems. But this problem is like mathematically it's kind of difficult for it to solve. So we are always testing with this one. Mm -hmm. This problem That's appeared in a nationalized maths test for standard eight, which people were not able to solve. Okay. And so we are trying to set a standard like at least grade eight student should be able to solve all the questions given to the software. Cool. And do you have a name for your hack? Yeah, we are calling either <laughs> Teach Me or I Teacher. Uh, we haven't yet settled on with that. It's not finally. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Great.